Hi everybody, my name is Will Mannion. I'm a professor of construction engineering technology and now the director of the School of Engineering Technology. So we're here today at the Maine Forest and Logging Museum in, uh, in Bradley, Maine, just a short distance from the university. And essentially this is our lab space as a construction engineering technology program. We don't easily fit inside buildings, so it's, it's great to be out here working in the field. Uh, a couple of great reasons why we do this. Uh, number one, it provides the context for our students to learn construction management techniques with actual working crews in the field. Uh, number two is uh, our construction students really enjoy building things and even though they're not likely to be using tools like this after they graduate, they're going to be managing people that are using tools like this. So it's a great experience to kind of learn and, and practice some teamwork skills, do some project management techniques, that kind of stuff. And, and the third reason is that we actually are doing good for the area, right? We work for nonprofits like the, the museum here in Harundo Wildlife Refuge. Instead of labs, we have several of these box trailers, as you see here. A uh, little, little bit messy at times, but it's looking pretty good today. And I'll show you a couple of things that we have. We've got a lot of the standard power tools. This is for the chop saw that you see up there. Uh, we've got a table saw, we've got lots of different construction hand tools, some smaller power tools like circular saws and, and reciprocating saws and stuff. We have saw horses, nail guns of all different varieties. And, and this, these boxes here are all fall protection equipment, personal fall arrest systems. Because when we work in the field, we work to, to OSHA's commercial construction standards. So we have all the equipment to do everything within the guidelines and safely and efficiently. We've also got all the personal protective equipment like safety glasses, earplugs, first aid kit, wipes and masks and this time, uh, gloves, anything we need to do it. So. so this is some of the documentation that the students will do as project engineer of the day. A project engineer is a very typical position that our students might start with right out of college, doing things like a daily report, safety checklets and audits, safety inspection summaries, quality evaluations, did we build things correctly, did we have to do any rework, tear things apart and redo it, what we completed for units, you know, how much, how many square feet of roofing, how many yards of gravel we placed, those sorts of things. And finally, time cards. So we have a crew time card. There's the crew members on this side, what the activities were across the top, and we summarize all that uh, to summarize how many hours it took to do things. So this is our Project Engineer of the Day book from a project we did last year. So the Construction Engineering Technology degree includes a fair amount of civil engineering, but we also blend in uh, some construction skills like project management, like scheduling, cost estimating, those sorts of topics, a little bit of business, taking accounting and other, it's a good opportunity to do a, a minor in business as well if you'd like. And uh, that all comes together with a, a very team approach to managing construction projects. Most of our graduates end up in, in general contracting when they come out, but from there they often move into other parts of the industry. So as our graduates move on in their careers, some of them will branch out into working for engineering companies, uh, doing the testing and construction monitoring side of things for the most part. Others will go to work for owners, like the Department of Transportation, a water district, a sewer district, or maybe a larger institution that needs facilities folks that have significant project management skills. So that we can take those ideas and designs that architects and, and engineers come up with and actually put them in place in the field. It takes a, a fair mix of, of uh, you know, people skills, technical skills, problem solving, and, and ability to get things done, and, and a good amount of ambition, but it's a wonderful career.